What is going on guys, Ben Glugan here. Welcome back to Dolphins Franchise. Now this is our bye week. You gotta be like, what's going on in this episode? Well, a couple of things. We're gonna give you guys a quick update on the scouting so you know what players you maybe are gonna look forward to us drafting at the end of season two in the 2021 NFL draft now at this point. We're gonna re-sign some players. Laramie Tunsil is an impending free agent, but we're gonna catch you up on scouting. Uh, we're going to upgrade our players if they have the points to do so. And uh, we'll do a quick like mid-season recap of, you know, thoughts and feelings and what that will we'll, and whatnot. We'll, we'll start with spending some coach XP, perhaps. So what do we have available? So we have DB, LB, DL, OL, all done right now. We might as well just save up for quarterback or wide receiver or something like that. People want some trades to happen, but, you know, at week eight, we are a competitive team. We're winning the division we're leading right now at four and three yeah it's a really tightly contested race i'm not about to trade any of our big playmakers for any type of future picks when we're trying to compete now and make the playoffs it just doesn't really make any sense for us to do so now this is when we find out some things about some of our players i don't know if you guys remember some of our draft picks but they are now uh being exposed for their true development trait and lawrence ross the boss who has looked god-awful in some of the past episodes, has superstar X-Factor development. The best you can get, quite good. Now, his accuracy is not bad. We have upped user accuracy in the game sliders because it doesn't make sense for him to be missing almost every time he throws the ball under any type of pressure. His throw under pressure is an 81, which isn't even bad. He's been horrific. As far as his abilities go, oh my goodness, he has bazooka. That is like the best one you can get pretty much. Quarterbacks with generational arms have the power to stretch any defense to its breaking point. When they enter the zone, their maximum throw distance is increased by 15 plus yards. So Lawrence Ross, and you guys know I love to throw some deep bombs, will be launching bombs. Now in order to do so, we have to uh, complete 30 plus yard in air passes. I'm not sure the number of that. Uh, he has Lofting Deadeye, which is passers with this ability of perfect accuracy on all lob or touch passes, except high, low, slash cross-body throws. And he also has Anchored Extender, which is while in the pocket, passers with this ability are almost guaranteed to break the first sack attempted by a blitzing defensive back. I do like that, though, because uh, I get sacked a lot by rushing nickel corners. So this is actually awesome. This is absolutely fantastic. That is uh, really, really fun to find out. We're also going to uh, upgrade um, Christian Matthews, who is our starting rookie center. We'll upgrade pass protector. Why not? And at right tackle, the rookie Zane Heron will also upgrade pass protector. He's now a 76 overall. He's got uh, awareness going up by three. That's pretty much the uh, big one there. It doesn't really matter to upgrade Chandler Cox, but I guess we will. He's up to a 67 overall now. And, um, yeah, some decent upgrades for him. We don't really run I-Form or anything like that too often. We also have a point for DeAndre Hubbard, whose development is still hidden. I expect it's going to be star, but, um, I think it is because we... Oh, he's a rookie this year. I actually don't know what it is. No, no, never mind. Lauren, okay, we do. I think it's probably star. I think it's star because this is the same draft class. We're not in another year. All right. Um, I think pass coverage is going to be the way to go with him. Of course, there's still the glitch where it shows he's only played 41 downs, even though... He's played obviously a lot more than that. Yeah, I think we go we go pass coverage here. What's his zone? 72? Let's get that up. That'll be his, his kind of style. He goes up to a 75 overall. And that upgrades man coverage by three, play rec by one, tackle by two, and zone coverage by one. Those are some big upgrades. Because he has 71 man now. 78 awareness. He has, uh, what's his tackle? 83. Those are some big boosts. Alonzo Wood is now revealed to have star for sure. So... That's his development trait. That's interesting. 81 block shit, 86 power moves. We just got to get in the backfield more often. We're not really generating the type of pressure that I would like. Matt Harris, our uh, third cornerback, has an upgrade here. Check out his ratings. He's very poor in coverage overall. I guess we'll just like, continue to work in him as a slot guy, even though we do have Kendall Fuller, but that might get us the best of both worlds. Plus one man coverage, plus one awareness, plus one play rec, plus one tackle. Let's do some scouting very quickly. Now, the biggest target for me so far, guys, is going to be Trey Key out of Nevada. I think he's going to be our key to success. Oh my goodness, can you believe I just said that? 
I can. <laughs> six foot four, two forty. A minus finesse moves. A minus at power. B plus tackle. The chat is a huge fan of that. I still am recording live. Casey Shaw also looks quite good. Six one, only one ninety though, out of Oregon. B plus man, B awareness, B minus play rec. Looks like he's going to be a really, really good player also. Justin Patterson out of UCLA is also quite good, but I just don't think he's as good as Trey Key. What other positions do we need? I've looked at safeties a little bit because I'm, I'm not convinced for sure, but I think cornerback is definitely a position we might want to look at more. Eric Sanders out of Washington State also looks quite good. Uh, we're looking, of course, at, at uh, outside linebackers who get after the passer. So Demarcus Gills fits that role. Six foot three, two fifty. Looks like he's a definitely a good outside linebacker or, or pass rusher from that spot. Middle linebacker, we don't really need. Our linebackers are fine. Looked at Emmett Boss out of Delaware. 6'5", 250. P-plus finesse moves. I like that. Not really looking at anybody else too much. Our defensive line, I think, is fine uh, at D-tackle, at least. So I'm not really looking at any of these guys. However, our ends are terrible. So I'm looking at anyone and everyone. Eric Browning also looks phenomenal. 6'3", 260, only 21 out of Rice. That's also another college in Houston. Um, very interesting. We're going to watch uh, both of these guys for sure. Wade May out of Oregon looks solid there. And I think our offensive line for the most part is pretty good. Uh, we could maybe improve at guard. Nicholas Floyd looks really, really good. Joey Battles looks like he could win some battles in the trenches. Ha ha ha. Out of Wisconsin. Another really solid looking player. Um, the guard class is quite good, and we could use an upgrade to that position. So, uh, I think right now, I'm definitely comfortable with with this class, except for wide receiver. I, I would look into wide receiver, but like most of them are not that good, unfortunately. The only one I really like have any interest in right now is Ray Stevens, and I don't think he's that good of a player. Um, he's just okay. It, it'll be interesting to see what his like uh, athleticism is because then you know we'll be able to make more decisions on that but also got to re-sign some players we have a lot of money kenny still kenny stills an impending free agent i know the chat really wants me to trade him devon godshaw is also an impending free agent that might be one player actually on the trade block because we have two really good defensive tackles in front of him charles harris is here let's let's start out with someone i definitely want to come back and that's laramie tunsil we have 107 mil in cap room even after handing out this massive contract we're going to sign him to a max deal, and I think Laramie Tunsil should return on that. He wants more salary. All right, don't we all? Don't we all? Devontae Parker has been someone that has really impressed me lately. I think he's a good player. I definitely want Devontae Parker back. Five-year deal, up the salary only slightly. It's about five mil a year. I'm fine to hand that out, and Devontae Parker returns on a five-year deal. Raekwon McMillan has been another really, really imp impressive player. He's only 24 years old, trending in the right direction. He's another guy. I want him until he's like 30 years old. So we'll up the salary and the bonus on that. And Raekwon McMillan returns to the Miami Dolphins. Now, the other players. Charles Harris is not good. I don't like him. I don't think he's good. I don't like him for the future of this team. Devon Godshaw is a good player, young player, has better players ahead of him at this point. Kenny Stills is 28. He's the best receiver on our team. Here's the thing. He is 28. He will start to regress. We are at the trade deadline. I don't know about Kenny Stills just yet. I don't know about him. What I will look to do though right now with the impending free agent, Devon Godshaw, is maybe look to trade him. All right, boom. That is the big trade of this year so far Devon Godshaw is headed to the New York Giants we are also trading a fourth rounder and a third rounder for their first round pick this year don't know where that's going to end up being yet but hopefully pretty high uh, and that's uh, quite uh, an acquisition okay so the chat has talked me into it we are going to do a somewhat player for player trade here and um basically like it's like Minka Fitzpatrick a second year DB being traded away Sometimes it happens. Now the Cardinals are in a different situation than the Dolphins are for the most part. Um, but we wanted to make this fair. So I'm trading Charles Harris, former first round pick, a second rounder this year and a third rounder next year in order to acquire Byron Murphy. That is accepted. Now we did overpay by in-game standards. In real life though, I don't think that trade would ever be made. So I'm comfortable making it. I really am. Uh, and now Byron Murphy, you're like, why would you even add him to the team? 
Where does he fit? Well, he's going to be a boundary cornerback for us. We're going to upgrade his zone coverage. He goes up to an 81 overall. I wish he was face scanned into the game. He gets plus one speed already. 89 speed. He's got high zone coverage. Now, Kendall Fuller is an outside cornerback, or not an outside cornerback. He plays the slot. So our two outside cornerbacks, when we play nickel, just in general, we might just have Byron Murphy and Xavier Howard. Um, and now, of course, we have a bit of a hole on the edge right now. Jonathan Ledbetter is not exactly the best option. Um, he's only slightly worse than Charles Harris, though, I think. So what we're going to do is move Nate Orchard over to left end. All right, so some big moves here in this bye week episode, but it, it's not over. Uh, we're going to hold on to Kenny Stills for another year. I think he's going to be instrumental in us potentially making a playoff push. Kalen Balaj has been back one game, is already frustrated. What do you want, Kalen Balaj? I'm going to get you involved. I really, I, I want to. Oh my God, and we play the Cardinals in week nine. That's right. Byron Murphy heads back to Arizona. He doesn't have to pack his bags yet. He's got an extra week to move. Lawrence Ross has an upgrade point. I'm going to go field general on him. And he goes up to an 80. Big money moves. Plus two to awareness. Plus one throw power. As if he needed that. That's not what I, I want from him. He also gains an ability slot. And now we went over his abilities a little bit earlier in the episode. But to refresh your memory as it goes up to 97 throw power. Boom. His third ability is now clutch. Midway through the fourth quarter in close games. And boy have we been in a lot of them. Players with this ability can easily enter and remain in the zone. Lawrence Ross is a glitch. Now, if he could only throw the ball accurately, I think we'd be in a great spot. That is, uh, that is tremendous. That is absolutely tremendous. Um, Laramie Tunsil is definitely a player that I would like to, uh, sign to a long-term deal. He just wants bigger salary, which is cool. I'll take you to 10, seven years, more salary, and Laramie Tunsil is back in Miami for the foreseeable future. We get our franchise cornerstone left tackle. And then Kenny Stills, I would offer you a one-year deal. I know you want a lot more. He's not going to want one year, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer it. He wants a, a longer contract with a bigger signing bonus. I just don't want him for necessarily two more years or three more years. I don't know. Uh, we're going we're gonna to cross that bridge when we get to it, maybe in the offseason. But I am super excited to have Byron Murphy make his Miami Dolphin debut going back against his former team from a week ago in the Arizona Cardinals. So we'll come out with some cool uniforms and we'll have the Cardinals do the same. All right, kicking off here in, what, Glendale, Arizona? And they're going to take this one out. Big hit to start things off. That's what I like to see. Raheem Scroggins, or Rasheem Scroggins, something close. We got to face Kyler Murray today. They got two backs. Tyrone Holmes in there as an edge rusher. What is going on with this team? What is this offense? David Johnson gets it. Okay. This might be a weird game. Byron Murphy is out wide left, just so you guys know. In case you want to find him. Kyler Murray going to run. Ah, I tried to end his career with one hit. <laughs> he kind of dekes it and slides. That's going to be an annoying thing, keeping him in the pocket today. He's just going to try and scramble every play. There's nowhere to go. It's big Vince Taylor. Vincent Taylor, really. Why are you playing over Alonzo Wood and Christian Wilkins? Where is Christian Wilkins? We'll figure that out. I don't really know why he's in. Checking down. Byron Murphy in his debut. Making a big tackle on third down. I like to see that. 33 looks really good for him. All right, so we now have a superstar X-Factor quarterback for the first time. The debut of the X-Factor. Lawrence Ross, he's got Bazooka. It's Kalen Balaj in here. He wanted to be a bigger part of the offense. We're going to make sure that that happens today. I also, I would love to get Lawrence Ross in the zone. In order to do so... We need passes of 30 yards in the air to be completed. And he doesn't he doesn't have a super quick release. So that could be tough. We tried to take go for it all there. I don't know why. Now it's third and 18. Now we really need the yards. I'll take maybe Preston Williams on like a, a kind of a wheel. Oh, that's gonna be open. Gasicki. Nope. Can't haul it in. 
All right, great start to the game. These are terrible. These are terrible plays. We might be taking some deep shots this game, guys. If I can, you know. Give me an user pick, easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. We got the easy reads and the user pick going the other way. Read that like a book. Jesus, they're they're sending a lot of heat here. <laughs> We're getting annihilated. Touch pass towards Jakeem Grant. He's not gonna get. We just got to do more touch passes. We'll get it. We'll we'll get it. We'll get it. This is rough start. Rough start. Hopefully, email should cut out a lot of that. Please don't embarrass me too hard. You guys love to see the punts anyway. Here's Matt Hawk. Did I get it? Oh my God. This is why you watch the videos. This is why you hit subscribe. This is why you follow. This is why you do anything. This is why you comment. The best punter on YouTube. Now the best punter on Twitch. That's why I took all those sacks just to set up the great punt. What is happening? See, whenever I pin him deep, it scripts to get him out of the end zone. David Johnson jumps over somebody, breaks a tackle. I'm getting cheated. I'm trying to cover everybody. Murray's just going to run. End his life. How does he hold on to the ball there? I know I just, like, tried to kill somebody actually on the field, but, like, how do you not fumble? And that is the end of the first quarter. Another high-scoring affair here on live, uh, live stream. Been fantastic. To make it realistic, CPU accuracy might have to go down to two. So they throw an incomplete pass every now and again. Let's take something away here. Third and six. We need to stop. Murray throwing. Make this tackle, Xavier. Thank God. It's going to be a field goal try. You know, it was, you know, we bent. We did not break. I'm cool with them getting points on the board if it's only a field goal. Or I could block it. Who knows? I did not. Field goal is up and good. Second and eight. Already Burns is on it, uh, Arizona now. Here's Kalen Balaj Breaks the tackle. We find a block. Kalen Balaj weaving in and out. Picking up the first down a little bit more. I'll take that. There's Shaquem Grant. Nice juke. Third and 22. I gotta stop taking these sacks, dude. Touch pass, lob pass, dead eye, Henderson, touchdown. That's a 30-yard pass in the air. Ooh. As the first career touchdown reception. Is that Carlos Henderson? Is that who we have? It's a big stop. Our defensive tackles should not be getting bullied. Our defensive tackles are fantastic. Nice check down, idiot. Oh, would make him make sure he didn't even catch it. Hell yeah. We actually have a chance to score before the half again. We just got a touch pass all over the place. Preston Williams here. I'm loving that. Bullet pass accurate. This The new Lawrence Ross, I'm liking, quite frankly. Completes passes. I'm a fan. Touch pass. Devontae Parker. Touch pass, Deadeye, might be the new best thing of all time. Can I just, like, make bad throws and get rewarded? That would be sick, too. Touch pass, Deadeye, Ray Ray McLeod. <laughs> Let's go, baby. This is overpowered. We're finding all the receivers now. I feel like that'd be good Kalen Balaj time. We might go back to the end zone, though. Preston Williams. Touch pass, Deadeye. Feet out of bounds? How? How? It's fourth and inches from the five with 28 seconds to go in the half. We we get the ball at halftime. I'm giving it to Kalen Balaj. He stopped. Great blocking, dude. Oh, it's a screen. What is these? What is up with these third down screens? The Cardinals keep trying. Kyler Murray's completed 11 passes of his 14 attempts. Sure, but for 45 yards. Third and six. How many third downs have we had so far, dude? Feels like an infinite number. Shaquem Grant, uh, it's going to be fourth and one. Oh, Andrew Van Ginkle forces it out, and it's recovered by Byron Murphy in his debut. I'll just take 60 yards just like that. That's cool. I feel like whenever I say Kalen Balaj, I, I feel like it sounds like a John Gruden impression almost. Like, Kalen Balaj, man. 
You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it sounds so weird. Like, it's just his name. Preston Williams. There we go on the touch pass. Second and 15. Kenny Stills. There we go. Should be a, th a short third down. I think this is going to be effective. I didn't even see that. Did not even see that in the flat. I thought he was wide open. He got picked up by Swearinger. It's fourth and four. This time we'll take our points. Nice check down. Oh, he didn't even catch it. You don't think anyone on this YouTube video knows where to buy tickets? That's a good point. If you wanted to buy tickets to anything, anything, use SeatGeek and code Bengal to save $20. Seems like a no-brainer. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whatever. Fuck the advertisement. Second and ten. Let's get a stop. Oh, let's go, baby. Tyus Bowser wraps up Kyler Murray. That's a sick shot. That looks angelic with the light beaming through the glass panes. Third and fourteen. Throw it over the middle. Big stop. Kendall Fuller. Fourth and fourteen. Arizona might be out of field goal range. Does Giorgio Tavecchio have the leg? Kick is up. And he was about uh, not even close. This, I think, is the official measurement on that. Come on, Balage, on second and one. Oh, there we go, baby. Good run. Go up and make the play. Gonna be intercepted. I don't know how DJ Swearinger keeps his feet in bounds there. I went for the deep shot. I wanted to try the touch pass dead eye. It was an accurate ball. It just wasn't what you'd call open. So, not exactly a great result for us, but that's to be expected. Screen, I'm all over it. You gotta be fucking my ass. Where'd I miss there? I'm right there. No animation. I'm, I'm right on him. It's a run. Uh, it's gonna, they're gonna have space. Titus Avant fell down. The running's bad, so we just went right back to the middle of the field, ignoring the touchdown. It's another screen. I'll give you guys a hint about their play calls. It's a screen every play. This this concept on the right side should be wide open if we hold blocks. Touch pass. Oh my goodness. Yep. Just it hung up there too long. We need Gusecki underneath, but I don't like to go underneath. That's open. Preston Williams down the sideline. Nothing but room. You got to outrun him. Preston Williams, 68-yard touchdown. His fifth touchdown on the season. We just got to get it to Preston Williams, baby. It's all good. Had the corner and just outran the defense. I'm all over that. Oh my goodness! I actually get an animation for once. Unbelievable. Easy reads. User pick. Green eggs. And ham. Gotta go back to it. Gotta go back to it. I actually, that was a weird animation. Ooh, there's their best pass rusher going down this game. I know Chandler Jones is their best pass rusher. But uh, he hasn't been giving us as many problems all game as Dante Fowler has been. Third and three. I would love a receiver that can just annihilate press. Oh my goodness. Preston Williams. Another big catch and run. Couldn't stay in bounds down at the 23, but I'll take that. That's just who we have to get it to. Preston Williams. He's all day, baby. There goes Tyrone Crawford. Another Arizona injury. I like how this team's playing dirty. That is not open. <laughs> I just force feed it to Preston Williams sometimes. We'll take the field goal. We'll go up 20 to three. Another screen. Nice third down call again. How many screens did they run on third down? At least four. I wonder if that's gonna get predictable. <laughs> hmm, let me think. They're gonna run. I'm, I'm all in there. All right. Nice fourth down play there. Another Preston Williams catch. He might be over 100 yards on today. Uh, game. I literally only want to throw to Preston Williams. We might have it there. Preston Williams beat press. What the fuck? 
How did he get back in the play like that? Already burns with the interception. That's annoying. I know we're up 20 to 3, so it doesn't matter. But what, is this not open here? Look at this. Is that not open? It's another screen. Sick. Like, are they going to quit? Just punt the ball back, dude. You're down 17. There's no world where this is ever a close game again. Kyler needs a dad to pick him up on his shoulders so he can see the scoreboard. I let that one go. Oh, Mika forces it out. Pick up the ball. Jerome Baker gets it. And he's off to the races. Be faster. Jerome Baker with the real dagger. He's got the crowd behind him. Touchdown. It's another screen. Sick play call. Call your... We're not calling timeouts with six seconds to go down 27 to three. Cliff Kingsbury, you're, you're wildin', dude. We're going deep. Let's see, is this gonna be a 20 point touchdown? I guess not. Still wouldn't even put him in the game if it was. Kingsbury's like, ah, I called such a great game. Those screens were starting to work. This was a big game. Um, this was a fun episode too. We found out a lot of things about the team. Um, just now we have to figure out how to activate superstar x factor not even a great game for lawrence ross really two picks still because that's what i do two touchdowns though this, this is a better game uh kalen balage got 13 carries for 58 yards I, I mean i feel like we got him involved but a touchdown for carlos henderson preston williams had seven catches for 151 and a td that's a pretty good game i don't really even think about that i thought he was like just over 100 he had a lot more than that uh, sack for Tyron Holmes, Tyus Bowser, and Vincent Taylor. Interceptions for Jerome Baker and Raekwon McMillan, the two kind of uh, main LBs on this team. A forced fumble for Andrew Van Ginkle and Minka Fitzpatrick recoveries by Jerome Baker, and he also took it to the house. We're going to raid uh, Drew, aka Not the Expert, aka Not the Expert YT on Twitch. Go show him some love. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.